So last year I started a project to make these three stainless steel knives and unfortunately since then they have managed to lose the footage of cutting the blanks. But it was a stock removal process, first using the angle grinder before shaping them to final size with the belt sander. And so this is going to be the story of finishing them and also of how the knife can be used as a tool of its own creation. So let's get started. I see a wind in the water. I see a wind in the water. In the water. I see my girl's got a job. I said, who's that young girl dressed all in black? Wait, this is really weird. In the water, must be some kind of angel. Moses laughed, I said, my God, in the trouble. What up? I'm just going to jump in here to quickly explain the heat treating process. For the smaller knives, I built an enclosed forge that's fueled by only one propane torch. And before I quench the knives, I first dropped a piece of mild steel into the heat treating oil to preheat it. With the larger knives, to ensure the entirety of the blade was properly heated, I decided to take the torch to the knife, manually moving it along until it reached the cherry red colour or didn't attract the magnet.
And now the blades are finished, I've come outside to make the handles. And I've found a twig, and so the plan is to make the handles out of this, using the knife and the knife only. So the first step is to split the log in half, slightly offset. And so now I need to move over the thickness of the blade and chop again. And now I can take this centre section and remove the knife width from it. And because you've split the pieces of wood apart, they should hopefully fit back together like a jigsaw puzzle. But if they don't meet up quite right, you can always use the knife to take away the excess material. And I'm just going to use some wood glue and bands to glue the whole thing permanently together. And so there we go, in less than five minutes, I managed to make a handle for my knife. But this isn't just limited to blades. I've also made a handle for an ax, for hammers, for chisels, and I found a certain type of log which got a hollow center which is perfect for things like files. And before you ask, I know this isn't the strongest way of attaching handles, but that's not really the point. It's about how you can be more resourceful with the materials you've got around you, and how if you're actually physically engaged with the making process, you can not only learn more about the knife and how to use it, but you can also experience wood's properties, its grain and how it best splits and breaks. And you can create something that's truly personal to you, your hand shape and your grip. And so if you do have a tool that needs a new handle, why don't you try making one? And if you do, I would love it if you could send me a photo, either on my email or on my Instagram. And so thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.